Welcome back to the channel, everybody. You're watching 412 PSE Customs here on YouTube. All right, so before we begin, uh, we ask that you jump in, smash that subscribe button. Um, of course, we'd always love to have you back. Make sure you click that bell icon to make sure that you set your notifications uh, for when we upload a new video. Make sure you're informed. And we also ask that real quick smash that thumbs up button that thumbs up button really does more for the youtube algorithm than anything else it helps get our videos in front of more viewers and it pushes the channel a little bit further uh, so yeah hopefully you guys will uh find the heart to Smash that thumbs up button for us. It really, really helps get these videos to uh, people that want to watch them and can benefit from the content and the information. <clears throat> all right, so with all that said, uh, today's video, we are going to take a look at some Federal Signal products. Um, so we had a couple inquiries. Inquiries. Uh, from some viewers in regards to the MicroPulse Ultra. Um, specifically, what are the differences between the old version and the new version? And, you know, do they sell them in dual color? And, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, we're going to go over that today. <clears throat> As you can see, I have three units in front of us. Uh, two of them are single color. The two on the outside the older MicroPulse 1200, the MicroPulse Ultra 1200, and then we have the MicroPulse Ultra 1200 dual color in the middle here. Um, and as you can tell, I have uh, the dual color version here already set up and mounted on a uh, behind the grill bracket. Uh, that's because it's going into a build actually later on today. So let's get right into it. So as you've seen in previous videos or a previous video, this is the original MicroPulse Ultra 1200. Um, these were fantastic lights. Uh, don't get me wrong. These things are super bright. Now, you guys all know I'm not a huge proponent of imported products, but there are a couple companies that do it right. And Federal Signal somehow has figured it out uh, because their products, although made overseas, they perform very well. And there's a lot of followers for fed sig so this is the older version okay four wire pigtail 12 leds uh the optics obviously are a little bit different there's a tir colander in there and then they have the fluted outer lens um which actually you'll see on the dual color version but they operate exactly the same, okay? So when you get these in your box, <clears throat> it's gonna come with the unit, it's gonna come with the foam gasket, it's gonna come with two screws, which is your mounting hardware, and it's also gonna come with your instruction manual. Now, if you look at the instruction manual for the older unit, as opposed to the newer units, it's exactly the same. Um, now, do keep in mind, they do have different series of these lights uh specifically like for these uh older ones there was a series a and a series b now you do have to pay attention to that if you're buying maybe some older uh nos lights um the series a and the series b are not compatible with each other so they don't talk to each other you cannot synchronize them um if you put a series a and a series b together you're never going to get a good synchronized end result um, so 
Uh, yeah, I mean, very simple. Couple differences. Uh, obviously, this is kind of a nice, thick um, cast body. Obviously, you have exposed mounting hardware uh, once you get that installed. Um, 25 flash patterns for that unit. <clears throat> so now let's take a look at the newer MicroPulse Ultra 1200. So here you go. Right off the bat, you can obviously tell uh, the lens is quite different. Uh, the optics were redesigned. You can tell this one does not have a fluted outer lens or <clears throat> outer section, I guess. Uh, but what they did was they designed this optic to basically be a linear TIR optic, if that makes any sense. So it gives you the widespread, but it also gives you that TIR punch. Um, another difference, <clears throat> as you can tell, is the pigtail coming out of the back obviously they have switched to um, a jacketed cable a little bit more different of an entrance okay and then <clears throat> we have an outer mounting flange cap so it's just a cap so you would mount <clears throat> you would mount your unit obviously using the two holes there and then this cap slips over top of it and gives it just that super clean look you don't see any of that hardware you know upfitters don't have to worry about painting the bolts black to match uh you know to make them inconspicuous so yeah obviously single color you still have the exact same uh four wire pigtail Same amount of flash patterns as the older MicroPulse 1200. There's 25 total. Um, and then we have the dual color. <clears throat> All right, so this is a dual color, amber white, MicroPulse Ultra 1200. And you can see this one has a little bit different um, lens on it. It has the MicroPulse Ultra TIR colander in there. As you can tell, there's two diodes in each one of those colanders. But it features an exterior fluted lens. So if you feel that, you can feel the ridges on it. Now with the older versions, you can't feel the ridges. The ridges are built on the inside. This one, same pigtail leaving, jacketed cable. Now, this one being a dual color, you have a couple extra, or you have an extra wire. Now, <clears throat> obviously, you can tell they have slimmed the MicroPulse 1200 Ultra by quite a bit. <clears throat> Let's take a look at these two. There's definitely a thickness difference to those. And a weight difference. I mean, this thing, this thing has some weight. This one's super light. Alright. I think what we'll do is maybe put some power to the Ultra 1200 single color and the Ultra 1200 dual color. If you want to see the older, just regular MicroPulse 1200, see this isn't this isn't the Ultra. Those two are the Ultra. This one is just the MicroPulse 1200. That's an Ultra 1200, <clears throat> and I'm guessing it stands for Ultra Thin. Makes sense, doesn't it? But if you want to see this thing in action, I actually have a, a previous video. Um, that maybe I'll link 
up above somewhere at some point in time during this video. Go check it out. All right, I'm going to pause this real quick. We're going to hook up these MicroPulse Ultras and check them out. Okay, so I got this all set up. Uh, before we get started, I forgot to mention, and I wanted to mention, that these MicroPulse Ultras, and actually the original MicroPulse uh, 1200, um, well, actually, it's only the Ultra 1200 and the 1200 that have <clears throat> these different flash patterns um, or flash modes, I guess uh, you could say. So they have the solid mode, obviously, that's going to be your default. And then you have three other options. Um, you have a top down, which is top row, bottom row will alternate. Then you have a left right <clears throat> where the left and the right will alternate. And then they have the crisscross. So that's, uh, that's an option that you can program if you want your lights to do a couple different things. So you got quite a few options there. Okay. Let's fire this bad boy up and uh, check it out. <clears throat> These things are extremely bright, so we are going to put the darkening filter on it and we'll go through some patterns
<coughs> All right, folks. So there you have it. That is the single color Federal Signal Micropulse Ultra 1200 in amber. Amber. Um, one other thing I did forget to mention is you see that little white wire hanging off to the side there? Yeah. So that's your low power mode. Um, dim feature, whatever you want to call it. They call it low power mode. Uh, that's so that you can trigger that to trigger this to dim down for nighttime use. Um, all you have to do is apply a positive 12 volts to it and it'll dim that down. You know, most people put that on a switch or a photo, um, a photo cell. All right, let's hook up this dual color one. Okay, so let's check this one out. We're going to put the darkening filter on and we'll go through some patterns now there's obviously a lot of things you can do with this light uh, there's different flash modes um, <clears throat> you obviously have the steady burn white override um, quite a few things you can do with this um, more than I can explain during this video for sure let's check out some patterns
<clears throat> I like this pattern for uh, like a police application in a red and blue. This would be a really nice pattern to set up for whenever you arrive on scene or, you know, something like that. Nice and slow, eye catching, but not super distracting. Yeah, I think we've gone through them all. All right, so there you have it, guys. Um, you know, there's a couple other features, you know, specifically with this one where you can, like, switch the uh, color combination. So you can have, um, you know, the amber flash first and the white flash second. You know, just kind of little stuff you can do when you're setting up uh, the lighting system for your vehicle. <clears throat> you know, you can have them uh, do quite a few things. Um, but there you have it. That's a look at the older MicroPulse 1200 and uh, two versions of the newer MicroPulse Ultra 1200s. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, please smash that thumbs up button. Seriously, that's like... That's the best love you could show this channel uh, to help it progress and get in front of other viewers. Uh, of course, we always ask you to jump in and subscribe. Love to have you back anytime. Um, you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, requests? Uh, you know, maybe there's something that you want to see me check out or um us review that you haven't seen yet on the channel throw it down below we love to engage with you guys until next time as always be kind to one another and stay safe out there